Hey guys, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. We are back with a, another video for Pixie Dust Design. And by now, the store is open and up and ready to go. I wanted to create a video on how to put this mailbox together just in case you decide to buy this mailbox and have a little bit of trouble. So I wanted to kind of go over the dies together. And if you haven't seen my first video with my craft with me, and where I put together these adorable little ornies, um, ornies slash tags. I will be adding I like this. I will be adding the name and kind of decorating the bottom. Um, these are such little fun little decorations with the mug sets that it released. So I'm so excited. Um, don't forget, I will leave the discount code for 10% down below. The code is only available for this grand opening kind of launch and um you don't want to miss it these dies are well made really thought thought out and she's really put a full package here so we're going to put this together um i'm just going to kind of go over the dies this these are the two dies um there's two die sets and um, i just want to show you what pieces will be what so it'll help you understand and put this together so these are the sides and this will score and fold to put the build the wall holding the body together okay and here is the layering stitched piece which is this piece here so you'll need to cut out two pieces one for your base i mean two of the bases and two in your deco paper uh, i used this beautiful print from a michael's paper pad i thought it was absolutely darling this is the base of your mailbox so this will be the square that holds all four corners together or the walls of your box and this piece here well you only need one of um you, it will represent this front this body part right here so you'll see here this is where the um oh no right here the slot is so represent this long body and then Next up, you'll have this door here, which represents the front. And if you look here, there is no cut line. So basically all it represents is a score, but it'll have the cut lines opening for the door. So it gives you that access to open and close this door. Okay, fully functional. And then you have all the decoration pieces. This is the layering piece for the slot. This is the little handle that goes in front. And she even got fancy and she did a layering, um, kind of like a turn, turn stopper. So you can do it in two different colors, which, make, which makes it fun. And then there's a whole bunch of layering messages here. Um, I think this is, oh, this does letters to Santa, um, if you wanted to add that as well. And then again, a whole bunch of layering pieces that will make this really a lot of fun. So I'm going to start putting this together, together, and we'll take it from there. Um, I'm going to try my best to do this as short as possible, although I tend to yap a lot. So I'm just going to pull out the main pieces. And this one I am planning to do in a strawberry paper only because um, strawberry milk. I ordered strawberry milk, and I've been kind of wanting to play with a strawberry-themed set. So we're going to go from there, okay? So I'm going to take just all my layering pieces. Okay, I'm going to take the, um, the sides first. And you want to fold these in. And I do have a scoring tool, which you will need. So you want to take these and just kind of fold them in because this is where your glue will be put on to the body, okay? like so I'm just gonna fold this in as well and if you haven't already seen some of the de designers and what they created there are some really cute designs from the other guest designers you want to check out and follow their social handles okay I'm gonna put the bottom base together um, I like I'm just gonna score everything that needs to be scored and this will at least get the process going. Now, I like to glue 
um, the bottoms of these first because I feel like it'll get it steady. So I did line up this long side so the short side will fit perfectly right into it. And I like to line it against the bottom of the mailbox, just on the bottom. I'm gonna start gluing this. Start gluing this. I'm sorry for my old glue bottle, but I am not about the waste. So I'm just gonna line this up. And of course, this is a lot easier when you are doing this. And you're doing this on your own but i just wanted to show you because it might be a little confusing there's a lot of pieces in this set and not that it's a bad thing but it can get overwhelming sometimes so i'm just going to press that down see how perfectly well not perfect i'm going to push that in okay and just to line that up and then i'm going to take the other side and line up the other side as well so we are starting the base of the body. Okay. So I like to fold up the sides. So I know that I'm not passing anything. Okay. Just like so. Okay, so we're starting with that. And then I'm gonna glue the insides of this flap so it stays on the side of this, um, of the body, of the base at least. It's gonna help me put together everything. Um, for those, if you are curious, I am using basil cardstock. Um, I've been loving or obsessed with basil cardstock not that it hasn't been around but the 12 by 12s have been like my go-to for uh bases and it makes it a lot more easier although i you can go 110 i would recommend 110 but basil is good quality cardstock so for me i haven't had a problem okay and that feels good so far okay i'm just going to pinch the sides a little all right, I'm gonna start on the body of the mailbox. So what I like to do in advance is take my bone folder and just kind of curl this up a little because this will kind of go like this. So you want just to give it a little bend or you're breaking the fibers of the paper. Just to give it that natural curl. So when you glue it, it's already ready to go and kind of curl around the base. So this is going to be a little messy, you guys. It's not pretty, but we're going to make this work. I'm going to just start gluing the sides. And I do like to line up the legs. So just take the legs and just line them up perfectly or as perfect as you can. Put this down. Okay, and this one just needs to be fixed a little bit. It does want to move a lot because there's the glue is not dry and it's not really sticking yet. Come on, come on. The start is always the hardest because you're trying to line everything up and just get it to be, to stick. Okay, so I'm just gonna push that in. I'm just gonna take this and line this up. Oh, and I forgot to add the glue to the bottom flap. So I'm just gonna go in there from the inside and add some glue. Okay, add some glue onto there, and then hopefully that all sticks. I'm just gonna flip this over and just glue this down. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna bone everything in, and we are starting our mailbox. So cute. I'm just gonna zoom in slightly. I think it might be a little bit better to see me. Okay, 
Now we're gonna start gluing the tabs. And this is never fun because you want it to line up. So I'm just gonna do a small smidge on both sides and just kind of add the glue into the tabs and just line it up as best as I can. Okay. You don't want to do it all at once. I don't know why. It just feels like uh, sometimes it doesn't always work. And, and I'm just basically trying to push it from the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to just help the other side as well. Just line this up as best as you can. Hopefully just go in there and just add some pressure to this mailbox. It's going to be a gluey mess, okay? So let's keep going and add the glue to the rest of the little tabs. Hopefully this will go smoothly. Okay. And I am just trying to get this lined up. And clean up some of the extra glue. You guys, this is this is not easy. It's never easy even with SVG projects. But you know what? When the results are done, it is so so satisfying. So I'm just trying to push it from the inside. Okay, and then this side I'm gonna. Do the same, push it in, sorry, I'm a little off camera, just push it in, and just match it up as best as I can. I'm pretty sure if you did this with hot glue, it would probably be a lot better, but um, I like the extra wiggle room because I have lots of regrets when it comes to putting these things together. <laughs> um, Okay, so I'm not going to glue it all the way because you want your front panel to be kind of lined with this. So I'm just going to do just a little bit of the top and just make sure that's all done. And then we are going to glue the front of this box, okay? I got a little confused because I wasn't sure what was the front, but after putting one together, I was like, oh, this is so easy. And okay. We're done. So now I'm gonna pull out this piece here, the one with the opening mailbox. And we are going to, before I do that, I'm gonna actually put in my little eyelet because um, it's gonna be a little hard to do so later on. So it does come with two layering pieces. So I'm gonna just layer them up. Just glue this. Okay. and just line up the two okay just like that and then I'm going to add my eyelet to the door and we are going to glue this bad boy together okay this is a lot easier if you do this in advance because you can't see the eyelet once it's glued on so oopsie all right so that's that so we are going to glue this to the front and then I'm going to use this lip to cover the top. So it kind of looks like that. Okay. So I'm just going to go and glue this. Glue this. Take that. Okay. And go and just align the legs up a little. Just line up the legs, just like so, and just press down. I'm going to open this door just so I can get inside. Oh, I should 
have folded it. Okay. Just so I can get inside and just help press along the glue lines. are almost there and I'm just going to go and glue the rest of the little tabs and then I am just going to go and press the top and then we're going to add the layering pieces okay so just like that I'm just going to glue on this side and kind of close that up And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. Just kind of push it out so it's lined up perfectly. And then I'm just going to go and just add a little glue. Push this down. And then I'm going to add glue on the inside a lip of this box so it sticks to that front layer okay i'm just going to tuck this in so it fits right underneath this little eyelet part okay and there is the mailbox, you guys, all put together. Now I'm gonna go and add the layers. I'm sorry for my yucky, gluey hands, but when you're doing a tutorial like this, there's no avoiding it. I'm gonna add my strawberry layers. I've cut some strawberry layers. And this is actually a round trip Maggie Holmes paper, oddly enough, but I wanted to create something with the strawberries. So th this panel here is for the side, like I said. And uh, with all the stitching, oh god, it's so darling. Ooh, and this color scheme is going to match it so perfectly. I already created a pastel Christmas one, so I thought I'd create one that's more like now. Ooh, look how cute that is. Okay, I'm going to do the other layer. Sorry, this tutorial or put together might be a little long, but... There's no rushing this. And hopefully it'll help you understand how to put this together. Okay. There is a mailbox thing here and your little door that I'm going to add over here. This is a faux door, so don't get confused. There is a front door, but it's very cute and kind of darling. She's really thought out all of the design of this, so it is really such a fun little set. Okay. And I do have a little layer for the little foam, but you know what? I'm going to go with the little glittered one because we want some sparkle on this box. Okay, I have some glittered. Look how cute that is. So now the front. Um, did I not? I didn't cut this piece, but if you wanted to, you can just use this piece for the for the front. And just so you know that. Okay, but this this does cover this perfectly. Anyways, um, this is the envelope that it comes with. You could just fold that up and create a little embellishment. So, so cute. Slip this in. 
and you've got yourself a 3D mailbox. And that is it, you guys. That is my little cross with me. Oh, I forgot the little handle. Um, you basically just, I would curl this up, add the, the glue on the side, and basically that will be secured right there, okay? So I'm just gonna cut another piece of the layering piece and then we are done with this. But that is it for this craft with me, put this mailbox together. I hope this was helpful. And again, I'll leave all of the information to Pixie Dust Designs down below. You don't wanna miss this grand opening sale. And thanks for watching if you've made it this far and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.